Good afternoon, Todd Thornton from TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you for joining us this morning. I'd like to uh, take a few minutes and share with you one of our beautiful new 2022 Renegade Verona 40 VBHs. This is on the M2 106 Freightliner chassis with the all new 360 pound or 360 horsepower uh, motor with 1150 pounds of torque. This particular model was ordered in with the Caliber 9 upgraded front grille and the upgraded American Racing wheels, they call them the Rolette style wheels. Makes it look really, really good. This one is in the Skyline uh, full body paint. With the Renegade Veronas, you can, there's four different paint codes or four different paint colors. This one is the blue, the white, and the black, which is the Skyline decor or Skyline paint. This chassis has dual 50 gallon fuel tanks with a six gallon DEF tank. As you can see here, you got your DEF fill right here, your driver's side fill right here for your tank, and your plug in for your um, engine heat. Stepping around, we're going to take a look at the outside first. Uh, this one was ordered in with the upgraded lithium package, the three extra batteries. If you don't do the lithium upgrade, you get the, the standard AGM batteries. This one has the lithium upgrade plus the two starting batteries for the chassis. It also has the Jaboni uh, solar panels on top with the solar charger, solar control right there. It comes with the 3000 watt inverter because of the lithium compatible. It is the uh, 3000 watt inverter. In here, you're going to have your 250D aqua hot system. That's going to give you your full, your primary heating source and your hot water on demand for you. Great system. And these next two bays, you're going to have the 250 gallon. So it's got 150 gallons of fresh water under the bed that I'll show you. And then it's got the 250, uh, 75 gallon black and gray tanks. As you notice on most or on all uh, new or uh, renegades, you got the double hinges. All these doors close very nicely. You got a full house filter that's going to be put right here. Once installed, you've got your low point drains, your black tank dump, gray tank dump. Uh, you got your power hose reel, which is behind here, fresh water hose reel. All these are laser etched in, so you don't have to worry about decals falling off in the future. I'm going to really stand, stand up to time. They come with the Bridgestone. 295 75 R22 and a halfs on the front and rear of the coach. It comes standard with the own and quiet diesel generator, the 8000 kW generator, which is plenty of plenty of power to uh, control all the, the AC units, the microwave, plenty of power for everything you need. In here, if you were to Able to plug in, you're gonna have your 50 amp power plug in with an automatic transfer switch and a surge protector built in. Also in this bay, you have a GFI 110 outlet also. All these bays are um, rhino lined, if you will, powder coated lined and then carpeted inside. Take a look at the back cap, beautiful. Paint designed by Renegade. One nice thing to point out right here, if you look here, this bottom cap, and this is all two pieces. So if you were to have an accident, someone bashes you right here, instead of you having to replace this whole cap, you could actually just replace the bottom half. Another nice thing Renegade does is has the generator exhaust out the back of the coach. So if you're at the racetrack or something, it's not going to go up inside of your uh, slides or 
anything like that. You've got a 20,000 pound tow hitch with a Voyager camera system right here for your trailer and a seven way plug for your trailer. On the dash, you will have a button that you can press to, to access the camera on your trailer, whether it be a horse trailer, car hauler, you name it. You also have the rear camera and two side cameras on, the, uh, on both sides of the coach, turn signal cameras. Over here on the camp side, you're gonna have most of your storage. Uh, really good size storage bay right back here. The next one is behind the drive axle, so you're gonna have a, not quite all the way through, but it's, uh, I don't know, probably a good six feet underneath there. Plus you get storage there. Again, steel lined doors with double hinge, double latches, shut very nice and easy. You got another bay here, not quite as far here because of the drive axle, but it still utilizes the space under there. All of these have LED lights inside the coach or inside the base. You've got an airline truck here for your uh, built-in air compressor. On the front bay where the batteries were, there was a connection for there, so if you need to air up your toys, tires, you name it. Then you got your travel slide locks. Another storage bay here. This one also has a GFI 110. So if you were to take something, a Traeger grill, you can plug it in there, roll the cord out there and, and put it out here underneath the patio awning here. New this year, they got rid of the individual speakers and they started using an actual sound bar. Uh, so you get sound bar, your Samsung smart TV, USB ports for your entertainment outside. More storage here. So you got lots of storage on this side of the coach. This Verona has a carry and cargo capacity of 7,069 pounds. So a tremendous amount of Storage, carrying cargo capacity, that's you, your dogs, your water on board, your fuel, you name it. Over 7,000 pounds, which is incredible. Built-in screen door. The all-new door from last year, they switched over to this style door. It's got the built-in nightshades here, very clean design. Come on in and take a look at this. Beautiful Verona 40 VBH. Now right off this color interior is the sandstone interior, which is going to be your valance colors, your um, furniture colors, the flooring. Um, one big thing you can see is up here in the cab is the new redesigned chairs much better than the old milk, uh, I call it the milk truck uh, type of chair. These are actually padded, very comfortable, whether you be five foot three or six foot one, they're very comfortable for seating. They both swivel around to join the family room, if you will. Uh, this chassis has all the safety assurance features, which is the lane assist the collision mitigation, the adaptive cruise, the two-stage engine brake, uh, TPMS tire pressure monitoring system. Um, you got the one thing that's nice that you do have an option to turn the lane, lane alert off. Uh, kind of drives me crazy, but some people are used to it. Uh, you also have a suspension dump for the back, which is new this year. Got your power windows up here. You got your locking differential. You got two horns. We call one the little city horn and one the big horn. The Garmin 
GPS system right here. This is going to control your maps. You can program it with your height, your weight, and uh, the coach, so it's not going to lead you down a road you're not supposed to be on. Also, you can take this outside and change your radio station, all that good stuff. Um, it is pre-wired for CB right here. If you ever wanted to put a CB in, the antennas are on the side. And of course, your this is all connected to your Bluetooth, so you can hook your phone up into there. So I was telling you about the camera. The, when the camera comes on here, you can leave it on the truck, which we are now. But if you had a tra uh, trailer behind it or a horse trailer, you can switch that to the trailer. It'll utilize that Voyager trailer camera on the back, and it'll display it up there. This one was ordered in with the new aero cab design uh, bunk bed up here, if you will. This can sleep two adults pretty easily. It's very big. Um, you also have a shade up there, which is really neat. Get some nice light in, and then when it's nighttime, you can close it up and go to sleep. You also have a TV in this little bay for you can shut this. If you have your grandkids, they can shut that and watch their own movie in here while you guys are watching yours on the outside. One nice thing is up here, if you look right on here, it can get kind of hot up there. So you have your own vents for the AC to, to push cold air up there. You got your JBL sound system your Samsung 43 inch television up here with a sound bar and this one you can pull out and turn wherever you're sitting in the coach so if you're sitting on the, uh, the recliners or at the table back there it's real easy to to see the TV this one was ordered in with the theater seat option so there's two options you can do the theater seating like this or you can do the couch that makes into a bed the theater seating, you can see it's going to come down. And they actually lay down. I, mean, I could easily take a nap right there. <laughs> so that turns into theater seating. Or you can have three seats here. When you fold this down, it's got USB ports right here. A little tray to hold your remotes. Kind of get them out of the way. Cup holders. 110 outlet. And two USB ports here. And let's move over to here to the kitchen. You got a solid surface countertop, Corian countertop, with a nice sized kitchen with a power sprayer. Lots of storage under here, wastebasket. Lots of storage throughout the, the back of that. Pretty much everywhere they can find room, they're gonna they're gonna put some storage areas. All of these are soft closed drawers. You can see when they close, they just nice and smooth. This is an all electric coach, so you're gonna have your induction cooktop, two burner cooktop, your convection microwave oven, and then obviously your residential refrigerator. We'll get to it in a second. Here. You got your fuses and your breakers. Now this one's going to be your easiest way to look at this. This is anything your inverter will run is going to be in this box. Anything your shore power or your generator is going to be in this box. They did move the, um, this used to be up in the bunk bed. This is your for your television, your satellite controls it used to be up there. They kind of moved that out of the way to, to free up the space up there. So now you have your WineGuard satellite box here, your um, Blu-ray player, and then obviously if you've got DirecTV or Dish Network, it would go up here. And then you've got your WineGuard over the air antenna right there. Quite a bit of space in here. 
You got the drawers on the bottom and then free space and all these uh, shelves are adjustable. You got the little notches all around the, all the way up here so you can adjust them to what you need. Up here, if you can see, way back in there, you've got a disconnect switch. That is going to be the disconnect for the ice maker. And then obviously plenty of storage again. This is a Samsung um, 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. There's your ice maker. Very, very clean lines. When I first looked at it, I'm like, ooh, they, there's no handles. Well, they're all on the bottom and on the top. Very clean. And then built-in locks right here. The 40 VBH is the bunk model one, uh, or you can turn this into a, um, a wardrobe. But obviously, it's the bunk right now. Each bunk has a Jensen DVD TV built in. So it's great for the grandkids. They can climb in their little closet and watch a little TV. They've got plenty of outlets and USB ports for their, their phones or laptops, iPads, whatever TikTok y stuff they do nowadays. You also have one on the downstairs or down here too. Both have windows that open up. And then you've also got some storage underneath here. So plenty of storage. That's one nice thing about Renegade. They, anywhere they can put storage, you're gonna try to utilize that and put the storage. We didn't, we passed over the Firefly in the front like all the Renegades have. This year, starting in 22, they've put in a second um, Firefly control panel back here. So you've got one up front, one back here. You can also download the app and have it everything controlled right here on your phone too. So, and this is, you've, you've seen this many of times before, you can turn off, turn lights on and off, you can dim them. Um, you can look at your power source, how, how your power's coming in. Right now we're just on batteries. Uh, generator start, stop. Control all your climate, whether it be in the front of the coach, the back of the coach, your bay. So you can turn it on, keep the water bay nice and warm for the winter months. You can turn the AC on, you can utilize the heat pump, which is in the AC units. Uh, this has two 15,000 watt, or 15,000 BTU AC units. You can turn the aqua hot on and off. You can control your slides from here. So you got your uh, exterior awning, your front slide, your rear slide. You can also, new to this year, you can use the leveling system, whether it be right inside the front door, or you can utilize it here. And then again, go down here for the mobile app. You just go to that Q code and put in your PIN number and all this will be on your phone. Moving into the bedroom. This one was ordered in without the washer and dryer. Um, it is pre-plumbed for it. You can see the, the remotes or the uh, plugins are there for it. And behind, underneath there is for the washer is all pre-plumbed, but folks that ordered this coach wanted more space, more storage. So they elected not to get the washer and dry at this point. It does have 150 gallons of water underneath here. So they've started a lot utilizing this space, great space for blankets, shoes, you name it. Two 75 gallon water tanks. And also the water pumps right there so if you were to have a water pump go out it's very easy for you to fix it yourself or replace it new to this year you can see they utilize the free space up here by putting some shelves and 110 plugs and USB ports above so you can plug your phone in on each side if you're one of the lucky people that wear a CPAP machine or a BiPAP machine you can plug it in right here have your hose down to here You've now got a window back here. And then lots of, lots of storage up top here. The 
This side also has a very large um, credenza or side bedside posting here with your 110 and USB ports and a little storage underneath it. Flip around here, you've got your his and hers, uh, or her and hers, or however you want to do it. <laughs> your clothing racks, hangers, drawer space, emergency exit. This one turns into a, if you've got long coats or something, you can take this out and have it a full length wardrobe. Emergency exit with uh, day blinds and night blinds. You also have your hookups for your TV in the bedroom so you can have your own dish box back here where you can watch a program up here and watch a separate one up front. You got two privacy doors. One right here. So it kind of cuts off the bunk room. So you got a privacy door here and a privacy door here. So if you got guests in, you can shut this door. Everyone can utilize the mid bath. And then here you've got a electron or electric maciator toilet, all porcelain with a soft close. And you can see it's got lots of counter space right there. Pantry. A lot of counter space here for just a little uh, single sink. I am six one, or about six foot 220 and I've got plenty of room in here as you can see. So you're not going to be cramped in here. Here, that's going to keep that from coming open. And you come on out here. This table is also going to make into a bed. So realistically, you have sleeping for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ish. Uh, unless some people want to sleep on the in the recliners. You're going to have storage underneath of these. Now when this table's pushed down, you would use these cushions right here to make the, the bed full. Again, plenty of storage up here. Here's the other cushion. Lots of deep storage. And these hinges are made to hold open, so they're not going to, not going to fight with them. They're nice to keep the drawers open. And they go through the length of the coach. Like I said, the theater seating. What else we got in here? Uh, this is the Lux Plank flooring. It's a vinyl flooring that's, I think it looks great. Um, you've got your aqua hot heat exchange right here. You're going to have one here and one in the bedroom. It's going to be your primary heating source. Like I said, you've got Corian countertops throughout. Cover them up, make them very nice. Out of all the Veronas, this one has the most counter space of any of them. With a glass black uh, backsplash. Obviously with a bunk model you'd want, you're going to have family and friends with you, you want as much counter space as you possibly get. As you know, all the Renegades come with their own specific book with manuals and everything for this particular build. This is the 22 Verona 40 VBH. That's their production number. That's my VIN number. So it makes it very nice to have everything in one solid book. And of course your other owner's manuals are going to be for the M2 chassis. And 
Anyway, again, this is the 